Mr. Quigley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Director, thank you for being here. This too shall pass. Earlier today and throughout the day, you have uh, stated the, the policy that a seated president cannot be indicted, correct? Correct. And, and upon questioning this morning, uh, you were asked, uh, could, that, could a president be indicted uh, after their service, correct? Yes. And your answer was that they could. They could. Director, please uh, speak into the microphone. No, I'm sorry. Thank you. So uh, They could. The follow-up question that should be concerning is, what if a president serves beyond the statute of limitations? I don't know the answer to that one. Would it not indicate that if the statute of limitations on federal crimes such as this are five years, that a president who serves a second term is therefore under the policy above the law? I'm not certain I would agree with the. I'm not certain I would agree with the conclusion. I'm not certain that I can see uh, but the, the possibility uh, that you suggest. But the statute doesn't toll. Is that correct? I don't know specifically. It, it, it clearly doesn't. And I, I just want, as, as the the American public is watching this and, and perhaps learning about many of these for the first time, we need to consider that and that the other alternatives are perhaps all that we have. Uh, but I appreciate your, your response. Earlier in questioning, uh, someone mentioned that it was a question involving whether anyone in the Trump political world publicized the emails, whether or not that was the case. I, I just want to refer to volume one, page 60, where we learn that Trump Jr. publicly tweeted a link to the leak of stolen Podesta emails in October of 2016. You're familiar with that? I am. So that would at least be a republishing of this information, would it, would it not? I'm not certain I would agree. I'm not certain I would agree with that. Director Pompeo assessed WikiLeaks in one point as a hostile intelligence service. Uh, given your law enforcement experience and your knowledge of what WikiLeaks did here and what they do generally. Would you assess that to be accurate or something similar? How would you assess what WikiLeaks does? Uh, absolutely. And they uh, are currently under indictment. Uh, it's Julian really Assange. But would it be fair to describe them as you would agree with Mr. Director Pompeo, that's when he, what he was when he made that remark, that it's a hostile intelligence service, correct? Yes. If we could put up slide six. This just came out, WikiLeaks. I love WikiLeaks. Donald Trump, October 10th, 2016. This WikiLeaks stuff is unbelievable. It tells you the inner heart. You got to read it. Donald Trump, October 12th, 2016. This WikiLeaks is like a treasure trove. Donald Trump, October 31st, 2016. Boy, I love reading those WikiLeaks. Donald Trump, November 4th, 2016. Would any of those quotes disturb you, Mr. Director? I'm not certain I would say. Uh, How do you react to that? Uh, well, uh, it's probably tr problematic is, is an understatement in terms of what it display displays in terms of uh, uh, giving some, uh, I don't know, hope or some boost to what is and should be illegal activity. Volume 1, page 59. Donald Trump Jr. had direct electronic communications with WikiLeaks during the campaign period. On October 3rd, 2016, WikiLeaks sent another direct message to Trump Jr. asking you guys to help disseminate a link alleging candidate Clinton had advocated a drone to attack Julian Assange. Trump Jr. Re responded that, quote, he had already done so. Same question. This behavior, at the very least, disturbing Sorry, your reaction? And, and disturbing and also in, in, uh, subject to investigation. Could it be described as aid and comfort to a hostile intelligence service, sir? I, I wouldn't categorize it in any, with any specificity. I yield the balance to the chairman, please. 